As we look at the long-term evolution of the Woodward as a facility, as a building, as an art center, as a retail center, we have to imagine that in that concept, that things that happen external to the Woodward, uh, just outside our door, down the street, even in the broader community will have an impact on what we do here. Because it's built on a foundation here that started with that. And so you're bringing history and culture together, but also making it very relevant and very vital for the community. So the more activity that can be ongoing daily, weekly, nightly, will be good for residents as well as for visitors. The Woodward Development Corporation, they are our backers. They funded us. They helped put us to get this together. A lot of people had talked about it, and finally the Woodward Corporation got together, gave us the funding to uh, do a little rehab on the building, and get our coolers and our freezers and our sh everything that we need in here to set up. And it was because of them we were able to put this together. Uh, this became available and it was just a, an answer to our prayers, truthfully. It was just, just exactly what we needed. It gives you uh, a chance to grow. Uh, if you can count on uh, a space where you can keep things, pull them out, store them, and um, be able to use them in repertoire, that, that's going to benefit your company. If you have to keep creating things over and over and over, uh, you're wasting time, you're wasting energy and resources. Uh, we've been here about four and a half years. I think we were about the first group that came in. We kind of got in on some of the painting and remodeling of the, of the building. We were looking for a place to rehearse and this opened up so it was just perfect for us. We started using the place of the Woodward about four years ago and it's been great for our children to come. It's been a more central place for parents to come and bring their kids. There's restaurants, there's shops, there's the, uh, the MVNU Bookwald Center with the art galleries, as well as the, you know, the Short North, just right on the other side of the square. There's all kinds of art shops and um, lots of things for people to do and just to get in and see what we have. One of these days we're going to get the Woodward Opera House up and running. And the time to start building audiences for the Woodward Opera House is not when it opens, but before. And that's sort of how the place at the Woodward came into existence, and it's been open for roughly five, almost six years now. We started a Chautauqua series there. So we're trying to build upon uh, different things with our group as well as other groups that with the historical value, the educational value, entertainment value, they all kind of wrap into a nice branding, if you will, of what our community and what the Woodward can become. Okay, I love that it's bringing a piece of history back to Mount Vernon. I think it's wonderful when you can bring performing arts where everyone can enjoy them, and I think it'll be a wonderful thing for our community. The changes we see in downtown are uh, representative of the success that we believe we will see in the Woodward Opera House when it is completely finished. This is where we're at now. That is where we'll be in the future.